most of you know, cervical cancer is one of the great cancer prevention success stories. The introduction of the pap test dramatically reduced morbidity and mortality for cervical cancer. So why are we here discussing this at all? Because 4,000 women still die each year from what we know is an entirely preventable cancer. Screenings save lives. It's an important time in women's health and we all have the responsibility to bridge those communication gaps so that we can identify ways to ensure that we continue to advance the fight against cervical cancer. We have to make sure that women feel like they have a seat at the table when these conversations, when these changes to their health are being made. It's very important for the practitioner to step out of his or her role and find the part of the guideline that's really helpful to that patient at that time. The guidelines are meant to increase benefit and decrease harm to women. How do we help to educate people about HPV um, and, and its connection to cervical cancer? So I'm excited uh, for this future when it's up on the shelf, you know, somewhere when somebody will say, remember when we had cervical cancer? Remember when people were dying from it? Mm -hmm.